hello everyone i hope you guys are doing okay so today i got one uh, budget device which is uh, samsung galaxy a35 5g and uh, we will just go through a little bit about the design how it looks like and a uh, little bit talk about this device how it compares to the flagship uh, uh, devices like S24 Ultra, Z Fold 6 uh, and we discussed about the price point of this device so initially like when uh, we look about this device so uh, it's a beautiful device uh, in terms of uh, uh, you won't find it much different than the S24 uh, or S24 Plus uh, obviously the Ultra have like a extra two cameras uh so and sensors so you just uh just that's completely different design so you'll know by the looks of it so it's uh this color is specifically the awesome navy and i'm loving this uh this color on this device it's kind of uh muted blue you can say it sometimes it looks like a grayish in different lighting conditions but yeah it's I, I really like this color so the back of this uh, device is glass we have three cameras led on the back uh the frame is plastic so i believe uh, that would be really easy to scratch and uh, you might want to protect that one with the case uh, uh, and uh, on the front we have the glass as well uh if we come on the top so we have the uh, micro uh, sd card slot and uh, the sim card tray uh, and uh, if we come on the side so we have the volume up and down and uh, the power button uh, and uh, on the bottom we have a speaker mics and uh, uh, the type c uh, port this side we have uh, nothing that's uh, all clear uh, punch hole camera uh and the great thing about at this price point the samsung has given the uh fingerprint scanner on this device uh, i mean it's not the ultrasonic one but like uh, it does work pretty nice even with the uh tempered glass protector on it and it's a little bit slow but like it works really nice like all the time you can just use this one to log into your device uh, and uh, into your app so let's open this device and uh, let's look at it yeah so uh, now we like to talk about this device like uh, it's a very lightweight device it's not that heavy in your hands and in your pocket and the battery life on this is is like great it easily gives you uh, a full day it's a 5000 mAh battery so depending on how you use it like for me i use it as a secondary device uh, the primary device i'm using as a z fold 6 so this easily lasts uh, about a day if uh, i choose to use this one on on some day and uh, if you're using uh, social media and watching youtube uh, so it gives a decent amount of time that it lasts a whole day unless you're a heavy user so yeah the processor on this one is not that efficient so you you might just end up like if you charge in the morning you might end up like around the uh, need to charge around 9 p.m or before bed but usually it's very easy for this device to last the whole day and then it varies upon the user to user yeah uh, and the display on this device is beautiful like I, I i use s24 ultra as well obviously those are like the flagship devices which which are like around three to four times the price of this uh, device but uh, i don't think so that uh, <laughs> this is three to four times slower or like lacks in something three to four times so Especially when I use uh, Z46 and this one, I obviously this one is a little bit of slower than that one in terms of opening apps and everything, but it's not that massive slow that it that that it defines the price point of the Z46 to be five to six times of this device. Uh, I hope you guys are getting my point, like what I'm trying to say. So yeah, so the screen is beautiful on this on this device. It's LED screen and 120 hertz display 
and uh, even uh, I, I've been using the Z Fold 6 so the battery management options are great on this device like you still get all the uh, battery protection features which you get on the flagship devices like you have all three modes uh, to select uh, on this device as you get on the flagship devices so software is pretty much all the things you have in it uh, the always on display and uh, it's it's a really really great device at this price point like i'm contemplating like why the <laughs> The flagship devices are so much expensive because that doesn't define like those devices to be three or four times better. Obviously, they have the better camera, but this device have a great camera too. Like, it's not that much good, but it is uh, pretty decent on this device. Like, you you won't regret buying this device at this price point. And uh, right now, the Samsung having a great sale on this device, uh, so you can get a much cheaper. Uh, so. Uh, and you can see it's it's it's, it's a great device. Uh, one more thing I would like to tell you guys about the about these any Android device uh, from Samsung that and you can go into developers mode uh, developer mode and you can just activate the animation scale to uh, you can reduce that one to uh, let me see right animation duration scale uh, yeah to point five x. By default, it's like 1x. If you just do it 0.5x, so your device will be much snappier. And you can see, like I'm using in front of you, this device it doesn't lag in anything. Uh, it opens everything pretty much fast. Not as fast as the flagship device. And I'm not comparing this device with them, depending on which price point this stands at. And uh, you can see, like, I don't find any kind of lag on this device. Like, I would just recommend this device to someone who's uh, uh, is a casual user, or who's, uh, or you can say who's using social media, watching YouTube. This device will not disappoint you guys, and it worth every penny. And uh, I would must recommend this device to uh, anyone who is just considering it. The battery is fine on this one, and uh, uh, it's a five G if you need that and i didn't find much different in, in terms of like the software capabilities that it provides when it when we compare to the flagship flagship devices so you guys can just uh uh leave me a comment if you guys have any questions and uh, thank you for watching the video